Um, hi. <laughs> I'll tell you about a certain Dmitry Shostakovich, uh, aged 19, who was just finishing conservatory. This is his Opus 10. Uh, it's a quirky piece, if you know what I mean. Is that too hard for the non-English speakers? Quirky. Quirky. <laughs> <laughs> it's episodic. It jumps around. It's never quite sure what it's going to do, but that's part of its main quality. Uh, this unpredictability of it. Some of it is very predictable, like um, sequences which uh, proceed like Liszt or Tchaikovsky. Or Brook, no, no. But there's always something different, something unexpected in each one of these things. So, uh, he was being a naughty boy. In other words, he would set up something and knock it down. Set up a straw man, as we say in, in American idiom, only to knock it down again. Sometimes, however, he gets caught in his own trap. Uh, for example, in the beginning with the slow movement and the finale, it suddenly becomes a big symphony. The first two movements are very scrappy, very episodic, as I say, uh, not quite homogeneous. They don't add up to anything very weighty. But the third movement, beginning with this extraordinary oboe solo, uh, begins to be quite, well, people always say Mahlerian, but, and it is. But it's mainly Wagnerian because it's Mahler through Wagner that came to this young boy <coughs> studying in Leningrad. And uh, he starts out to make fun of Wagner because it was all, that was the thing to do in those years. You just made fun of Wagner. Everybody was sick of all that heavy 19th century Strauss, Wagner, and Bauer. And so the trick was to be French oriented more in the 20s. But in the course of writing all this, these takeoffs of Wagner, including direct quotes from Der Ring, the Nibelungen, and the Fate motif and Erda motif and lots of Tristan quotes. In spite of making fun of all this, he gets trapped in it and he becomes in love with it. And little by little, it becomes so beautiful because this combination of sweet and bitter, of love and hate, of whatever you want to uh, call it, suddenly works. And uh, if you understand that, and if you understand also the operatic nature of it, especially the finale, then you can make a symphony out of it. And the whole thing turns out to be a piece.